The Clipper versus Laker game was never truly in question. Kept ballooning to 10 points. And to be truthful, I don't want to waste my time. But this is a new series, so if you guys really want me to do games like that, let me know in the comments. And also, the green bubbling with the fourth quarter scores is not the whole fourth quarter. Understand that. It's just the last five minutes because that is what we consider clutch time. Let's go. I'm always trying to better my content, just like NBA players trying to better their skills. Jalen Williams bucket. We're going to keep track of the score. Let's go. These aren't Anthony Simon's first clutch points. This is why I'm doing this for you guys, so you can see when I'm skipping over free throws. I know these are his first points in winning time, but don't get it acquitted. Shea is that guy. Not afraid of the moment at all. You can absolutely tell with Anthony Simons that he took a lot of notes from Damian Lillard. I mean, he just oozes Dame esqueness I love, love, absolutely love this. Jalen Williams said, no, I don't need a three. Quick two, and we'll get a stop. Somehow, some way, that's clutch. Imagine being in the film study and trying to figure out why you lost the game, and you have to point out that the coach hopped on the floor and got two technicals and gave them a free throw to tie the game. Damn, Billups, I, I can't even cap. That one gave me chills down my spine. That, that was elite shot making right there in the clutch. Game on the line, give it to me, even though we have shy and I don't shy away. Man, I might have to make him clutch player of the night. You want to know what makes shy great? It's his attention to detail and his commitment to the defensive end. Grabs the rebound, goes up the full length of the court, sees pressures to chew a cutting. That is what you call clutch, my guys. When you fail once, don't give up. Always try again, and that can end up being your clutch bucket. Julius Randle with a tip in. Dorian Phineas-Smith is making clutch buckets. I want somebody who makes clutch buckets. Randle got me feeling like one of them old school desperate Lakers fans who thought that their team was going to trade for everybody. Can we get Julius Randle maybe? Now, this is the type of clutch time performances I love to see. Running that floor, playing defense, getting the easy buckets. Julius Randle is really close to being the clutch player of the night. We'll see. Look, I'm going to keep it 100. Not all assists are created equal. That is one of those, if it wasn't for Randall, you wouldn't have got that bucket assist. But don't get me wrong, that still was a tough finish from Josh Hart. This is the one thing that irks me about Mikael Bridges. I know some of it has to do with coach's play calling, but he is a lot better than he presents himself. He should be demanding the ball. Demanding. I'm letting you know right now, I am a Joker hater. He will be judged under a harsher telescope on my channel. You will think he could do no right. When it comes to me, a fair warning, and that's exactly how you get more minutes as a rookie. Rookie Shepard out here putting in work. Tried to get the steal, didn't get the first time, goes for it again, finally gets it, gets the bucket. Clutch time is starting. How are you the best center in the league and you can't even hold down the paint? And beat would never move in like you got two center blocks. Not impressed, but it's two points nonetheless. Rookie Shepard only made two buckets, both of those buckets being the clutch. I know if I seen that, your coach saw it too. You about to get some more minutes, brother. Without Jamal Murray, Jokic is nothing more than a stat sheet stuffer because he needs a closer. What closer do you know is left wide open in the clutch? I'll wait. <laughs> Look at Jokic doing the somber shuffle on defense. If that wasn't about the luckiest goddamn layup I've ever seen, I swear to you, if Jokic ends up being my clutch player of the night, <sighs> The three blind mice could have told you that was a goaltend. Like, I saw that that was a goaltend. I thought you guys were deliberating whether it was a foul or not. It's an obvious goaltend. Just let's go on to the next possession. Why is Joker never down low for that help side block? Can he not jump off the floor? What is it? Give me a reason. All this hating and I have to put Joker as the clutch player tonight. He really is the villain in my story. Joker is a fitting fucking name for you. I really hate this right now. Wilson Sports was not available to say that Joker is the clutch player of the night. He is somewhere yelling about it. Oh, well. Too bad for him. Let's go Nuggets.